Welcome to episode 47 of Your Daily Writing Habit. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh. People call me Christine Inc. That's spelled I-N-K, like the stuff you write with. Each day, I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three types of habits in particular can have a huge impact on your success as an author. Writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset. Now, today's writing habit is kind of similar to yesterday's, where we talked about how to turn the body of your book into a bank of marketing copy. So it's on the productivity side, uh, a way to streamline your book marketing. So today, I'm going to share with you my pro tip for laying a foundation for the content marketing strategy you'll be using to help launch and promote your book. And if this seems a little ahead, like jumping the gun, if you're at the very beginning stages of writing your book, just kind of hold on to this for later. Remember that all of these flash briefings can also be found on YouTube and pretty soon at the time of this recording anyway, pretty soon, maybe by the time you're listening to it now, they will also be available on iTunes as a podcast. So you can always hop back to these uh, when you are at the point where you're launching and promoting your book. So having said that, Doing a complete author content marketing strategy, say that really fast, (laughs) doing a complete author content marketing strategy is an in-depth process, but let me give you the all-important first step today, which is breaking your book topics into six pillars. Now, why six? Because I found that a six-month rotation of content is a solid lead-up to launch. Really, any you know, three to six months, I think three months is definitely the minimum, but six months is a super solid foundation for starting that conversation with your readers and getting them very excited for when your book comes out. So six months is good for that. And it's also something, obviously, you can repeat twice a year indefinitely. So you can have kind of a content cycle based on your book that goes every six months as long for the life of your book. So think about the major subject areas of your book and make a list of six major messages. They might be your book's sections or certain chapters, or maybe six major reader takeaways. It's up to you. And even for a fiction book, you can probably find six major themes of your book, or even if you're doing like something with like an ensemble sci-fi or fantasy series, maybe you have six major characters. So you can get really creative here and just think of the number six, you know, one for each month of your content rotation and think about six things that like six bins you can put your content in. It's really up to you how you do it. Just make sure that each one of the six has enough meat on the bone, so to speak, that you'll be able to cover it from different angles for a whole month, since each of your six topics will become the six months of your strategy. So make sure it's broad enough for a month, but not so broad that it's hard to contain in a month. So those are your parameters for choosing your six. From there, you will break your six months, so your six topics, into weeks and days and even down to the level of social media posts, blog posts. So you'll be taking each of those six topics and just breaking them down into smaller pieces. Again, this is the first step of a much bigger content strategy that I do for authors. But just if you start this way, come up with those six themes and make that your six month rotation, that will lay a solid foundation for your content marketing later. And remember, you can always look me up at christine-inc, I-N-K, if you need more information and help. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I'm helping you solidify your writing and marketing habits so you can finish writing and publishing an awesome book. And if you know anyone else who's writing a book, please share this recording with them so they can do the same. Until tomorrow, happy writing.